recipes with Rosemary. I hope all of you guys are doing super good today and ready for these super easy, delicious, three different recipes, healthy recipes, so you guys can start your new years all right, right? Hope you guys enjoy these recipes. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's get started with the recipes. So let's start with the salmon. Here I have two salmon fillets. I already cleaned them with lime juice. So now we're going to season these and we're going to start with ground black pepper and this is to taste. I just added a pinch on each side and we're going to season it with salt as well. I'm adding about two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon on each fillet or to taste of course. I have here two garlic cloves finely chopped, two to three and white onions. Now add that in. I'm also adding two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. I love teriyaki sauce. Adds so much flavor. And this is the one that I'm using just in case you guys want to know. So basically that's it. We're going to mix very well. Making sure both fillets are covered with the delicious seasoning. And in my baking dish, I'm going to add the two salmon fillets on one of the sides. Adding the onions on top and the garlic as well. And now let's move on with the potatoes. Here I have a yellow gold potatoes. They're very small. I cut them in half. This way it can cook faster. So a little tip, cut the potatoes in half so it can cook faster. These are very buttery once it's cooked. Now we're going to add it to the same bowl we seasoned our salmon with. So it can also have that flavor. I'm just seasoning it with ground black pepper and salt to taste. You want to add a little bit more salt to the potatoes so they can season very well. We're going to mix and just add a little bit of paprika powder. Mix again. And last, I'm going to add my carrots. And here I'm adding two small carrots, peeled, clean, and chopped. I also make sure to clean the potatoes because we are leaving the skin. So on the other side of my baking dish, I'm adding the potatoes and the carrots. So, so good. We're going to add some cilantro. Last but not least, and now we're going to bake this in the oven at 365 degree heat for about 40 minutes or until the potatoes are nice and tender. And here is my first recipe, delicious baked salmon with roasted potatoes and carrots. Super delicious and healthy. Hope you guys enjoy the recipe. And now let's move on with the next recipe. So we are starting with the vegetables. So this is an overview of the vegetables that I'm going to use super super delicious so we're starting off with one green zucchini you can use yellow zucchini if you want about four to five garlic cloves finely chopped we're going to continue with mushrooms about two cups of mushrooms any type of mushroom that you like and i have here green beans as well all my vegetable and white onions all my vegetables are nice and washed so here i have three chicken breasts i cut the chicken breast in half that way it could cook faster and then we're going to season it with ground black pepper with a teaspoon of cumin powder and we're going to also season it with dried parsley just, and of course about half a tablespoon of salt or to taste make sure this chicken is very well seasoned i also clean my chicken with vinegar and lime juice so make sure you clean your chicken last but not least about two tablespoons of worcestershire sauce we're going to add half of the garlic and we're going to add all of the onions and now we're ready to mix so good guys so delicious now we're ready to cook the chicken breast so in my pan a medium high heat i'm adding olive oil i'm adding about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil and now we're going to place our chicken breast one by one so i'm cooking three chicken breasts at a time and again i cut the chicken breast into half this way it can cook faster so we're going to cook this for about eight to nine minutes on one side and after the nine minutes we're going to flip them over to the next side And we're going to continue to cook for about eight to nine minutes as well. And after nine minutes, my chicken breasts are done. They're juicy, delicious. Look at the color, guys. I mean, come on. Now we're ready to place them on top of a plate. That way they can rest and we can continue cooking the rest of the chicken breasts. In my second pan, I'm adding a little bit more of olive oil and I'm adding the rest of the chicken breast. And again, I'm cooking this for about eight to nine minutes on one side, and then I'm going to flip them over 
and cook them for about eight to nine minutes as well on the other side. Make sure your chicken is very well cooked. Make sure it's well cooked. So let this cook for about eight, nine minutes, eight to nine minutes. And our chicken breasts are done. They look so good, delicious. We're gonna let them rest and we're gonna continue with our vegetables. So on the same pan, this is not burnt guys, this is flavor that the chicken released into the pan. So we're gonna add the green beans. We're adding zucchini and we're adding the mushrooms as well. We're still cooking this at medium high heat. We're gonna mix a little bit and we're gonna season our vegetables as well. So let's start with the garlic, a little bit of water, ground black pepper, a pinch of ground black pepper, about a teaspoon or two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of paprika powder, and juice of half a lime. We're going to mix well and we're going to let this cook for about nine minutes. And after nine minutes, our delicious vegetable is nice and soft. We are ready to serve our second healthy meal of the day. Delicious chicken breast with sauteed vegetables. Zucchini, green beans, and mushrooms. I mean, what more can you ask, guys? This is the perfect lunch or dinner recipe. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get started with our last healthy recipe. So let's start with our vegetables. I have here sweet potatoes, we have carrots, we also have broccoli, fresh, fresh ingredients, guys. All my vegetables are washed already and cleaned. And for our sauce, we're gonna need honey, we're gonna need garlic, we're gonna need seafood seasoning or old bay seasoning, as well as lime juice, and of course, salt and pepper to taste. Now let's get started. In my bowl, we're gonna start with the sauce. So we're gonna add the lime juice. And here I have a juice of two limes. You can use lemon as well. We're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of honey. We're gonna add the garlic, which I have about three garlic cloves. Finely chopped, we're gonna add one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning and ground black pepper and salt to taste. We're gonna mix very well. And we're gonna set this aside. So in a bigger bowl, I'm gonna add my vegetables. We're gonna add one head of broccoli, florets. We're gonna add sweet potato. I have here about three small sweet potatoes cut into like um, rice so it can cook faster. And I have here about two carrots, small carrots, also chopped. And we're gonna start seasoning with olive oil, paprika, salt and pepper, and also garlic powder. We're gonna mix very well. Making sure everything's nice and seasoned. And we're gonna add this to our baking dish. Now I'm going to make space in the middle, that way we can add our tilapia fillets. And these can cook evenly and at the same time. So now I'm adding four tilapia fillets. You can use any type of fish that you want. You can even use salmon if you have salmon at home. And we're going to pour the sauce on top. This sauce is so, so good. You can actually taste it to see if you need more honey, if you need more salt and pepper. To your liking, guys. I'm going to pour everything on top. And that is it. We're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes or until the vegetables are nice and tender. And here's my last healthy recipe of the day. Baked tilapia with roasted vegetables. So good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite recipe. Recipe one, two, or three. Mm -hmm.